Hi, my Cancer friends and family. Welcome to your July reading. I'm Debbie Dubois, and I want to take a moment to welcome you to my channel, True Sacred Union. We're going to be taking a look at the love and creative expression energy for the month of July. And let's see what the cards have to say. All right, I am going to shuffle just a few more times. I've been charging and preparing my deck. Uh, I do want to let you know that I will be in Niagara Falls at a Twin Flame and Ascension workshop with Marla Kelly, who is our host. And uh, we're also going to have Kalina Malnar there, as well as Rob and Angie from Twinfinity. And uh, I'm really excited about this particular um, workshop. I love seeing these guys anyways. Um, I am looking forward to seeing Kalina. We haven't done anything together in a while, and we used to have a radio show together, so this should be just absolutely uh, incredible um, just to be with her again. And it is very close to my hometown, so I'm sure I'm going to get out there and see some peeps and, and everything, so I'm very excited. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to look at the overall energies, okay? The overall energies... This is for my cancer friends and family. Let me see. The overall energy is for July. Well, we have Venus. That's great. We have the anchor as the overall arching energy. And we have the mask. Okay. Let's see, tune into these energies here. Okay. So this month is really about stable energies. Um, very, very solid Um it is, I get the energy like, it's kind of like you are becoming a very, very stable force to be reckoned with. But there's, you know, there's also this element of willpower. You are pushing forward to be your strongest self. And uh, at the same time, you know, it's kind of like pairing this up with Venus. It's like that creates an incredible allure, charm, um, grace beauty that, um, you know, is very alluring to other people. So it's a very attractive energy. It's a very solid foundational energy. Now, because it's paired on the other side of the, with a mask, with the anchor, I want to say that there's something to be aware of here is that there is a possibility that in some cases when you are not feeling like the anchor, you may be projecting a mask to make everyone think that you are. So it's something to be careful of. It's something to look inside and find out if that is in fact true in your situation. Because, you know, there there's nothing wrong with not being the anchor all the time, okay? In fact, that's what I am starting to get for some of you. Um, you this Because the mask is here and because Venus is here, it's almost like for some of you, you are trying to be the anchor and be this very um, steady, steadfast, um, secure person uh, while maybe not feeling that way. Um, and that's because you have a belief system that doing that actually creates the more venus goddess energy that's a possibility there so whichever one it is the bottom line is is that the cards this month are talking about um that solid steadfast energy of um equilibrium so not so much about um you know showing anything else besides that you're very focused on showing that there's other ways that this mask energy can come in in this reading uh we basically can have uh a little bit of two-faced energy going on with someone in your life uh, if that resonates with you um, some people might have ulterior motives in what they're doing and you need to be aware of that um, but I would say that more than anything, this probably has to do more with um, you or um, someone close to you. But I think more you uh, in the anchor energy, trying very hard to ensure that you stay there um, and, not, and not show anything else. So just something to be aware of. All right. So I am going to go ahead and... Um, Spread these cards out behind me here. All right, so I can 
definitely have enough room here to show you the rest of your reading. So, what is the specific information you need to know about love this month? Let's take a look. All right, so the first card is letter, which is more formal communication. Okay, so we're dealing with the church. And we're dealing with the man. Okay, because of the fact that the church and the man come together, I do believe that this is about the other person. And I'm just going to say that. The other person, if you're the if you are a man, it could be you, and I'm not saying that this isn't. We're talking about in a love relationship. I want to say when I'm asking a question about that and a man or woman shows up, um, you know, it it just depends. It it really I go with my instinct. My instinct says is that the sacred partner who is of the more masculine energy is literally dealing with dogma right now. So Basically talking about traditional marriage, talking about family values, principle, their principle, their, their dogma, okay, their patriarchal programming. So this is something that's happening with your uh, divine masculine, whether that's you or whether that is um, your partner, whoever's carrying that energy. Um, and it does look like there will be some kind of communication from them. I don't know whether it's either going to be an email. It does seem more like formal communication in that it's not necessarily like chatting with the birds and the texting and stuff like that. Could very much be your need to email them, their need to email you, um, to make contact, to write to each other about something. So yeah, be aware that in your love life right now, that, um, that masculine energy is uh basically dealing with that patriarchal energy so you're going to want to be aware of that because if you are connected with this person through almost like the field merge like if you're a twin or if you're a twin flame or twin soul or um or even someone that's very physically in contact with your partner you're going to feel this in your field and i feel very strongly that that's why you need to know you're going to need to know that this energy is there so that you don't um think it's you okay that's what i'm getting so that you don't think it's you and you may actually reach out with an email and basically say hey just check it in want to find out what's happening with you because that is um you may want a confirmation all right or they may reach out and say hey i'm dealing with some stuff and uh, all right, so let's look at your creative expression. We're going to look at creative expression. And the first card is the child. And the second card is uh, the bellows. And finally, the third card is the butterfly. Okay, so this is your creative expression. This is your abundance. This is your um, what you came here to do. And the central card of this is the bellows, which means um, you may have just sparked into that. All right. Or something new has sparked for you. So you have fuel to go the distance. It's like um, think of the fireplace and um, and blowing on the flame and fanning the flame of that creativity, um, sparking and igniting something wonderful it's a catalytic kind of shift in what you're doing now pair that up with the butterfly and we're talking about a metamorphosis right we're talking about change into something that's more catalyzing into something that's that's heated up that's accentuated um metamorphosis so and what's interesting is is then if you pair that with the child this is brand new creativity it's exploring possibilities it's um, returning to the innocence of, I want to say your higher childlike self. So whatever it is that you're, you're focusing on here from a creative standpoint, it is really getting some um, blasts of air to fuel that fire, if you will, like the bellows. And you may have something happen that catalyzes you um, into the next level of what you're trying to achieve. And it brings you back to the innocent innocence of the child. So... Um, yeah, this is saying, the butterfly is saying, embrace that change. That change is great. You might not even know where it's going. That's the exciting part. But 
things are going. That is what this bellows brings to you. So that's fantastic. Okie dokie. Okay, so last but not least, we are going to take a look at what your higher self wishes you to know. All right, what does your higher self wish you to know for July? We've got the rider. We've got the stalemate. And we've got the garden. Okay. What comes to me here in the stalemate card, which is the predominant energy in this three card spread, is do not compromise in terms of what you're trying to create. Now, this standoff also may have something to do with the relationship that you have going on or the connection that you have going on with the patriarchal energies. And you are in a position where you might be at a standoff, but really, you, this, what I'm getting, and, and you may even be blocked from this person, okay? This may, you, energetically, you may be blocked. They, they, it might not be a social media thing, but, and it's funny, I looked at the clock, it's 11, 11, 11 minutes, 11 seconds into the recording when I got that, so I feel like that might be a pretty strong um, coincidence that that should be the case. All right, so, if you're blocked energetically or emotionally, it's because of this patriarchal masculine thing that they've got going on, okay? That may create some kind of a standoff. Maybe that's where the mask is coming in. Maybe you're projecting a very strong, stable figure, and you might even be a little deceptive in that. Put that mask on. Don't let anybody see that there's any insecurity there at all. But that may be because of the stalemate card. Now, what I want to say is, is that to go along with the stalemate card, we have the rider, and the rider is movement. It's green light. It's goals. So what that's saying to me is, don't worry about the stalemate. Don't worry about what's going on here with this connection and what they're trying to work on. That's their stuff. You might want to reach out and find out, hey, is this going on? That might be your own um, curiosity, or you might hear from them saying, this is going on. You might become unblocked in this. All right, but this this writer card says to me, creative expression all the way. We have got the bellows, we've got metamorphosis going on, we've got creativity going on, um, and of course we have this goddess Venus energy going on. And what that does is that creates. Here's the garden. Okay, I want to take these two together, and the garden is basically saying, you know, you've got community stuff going on right now. You've got an audience. You've got, um, yeah, I want to say you've got an audience for where you're going. You've got the green light. You're, you're going to make your goals. This is that, that creative expression. So overall, the energies, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and pull an Ascended MasterCard because I find myself pulling these messages together right now. And I have a feeling that the Ascended Masters do have a message that will tie all this in together. Um, this reading is very much in there. There is the card right there. I knew it was coming in. Um, okay, I'm going to make some room for it. Let's tie this reading all together. Because what I'm getting right now is that so much of your path right now, Cancer, is about your creative expression. Okay? And nurturing yourself in that energy. Okay? Because... You know, with this energy going on in in the, um, the the divine partner, catalytic heart awakening partners, whatever it is that's going on, and the stalemate that may be going on there, um, from that perspective, nurturing yourself is probably a really good thing to have right now. Um, it will ease a little bit of this pretending. This, if, if this is you and you are kind of wanting to wear a mask because you really want to project a stable, in control, very um, steady, uh, perseverant type personality with a lot of fortitude, um, that takes an awful lot of energy if you're not feeling that way. So if you're putting that in into the equation, Mother Mary's here to say, please do not forget to nurture yourself. Nurture yourself not just in the small ways, but in the large ways. Um, and nurturing yourself, it can be very much 
focusing on where the energies are igniting, which is in your creative expression. Take time for it. Make sure that you're taking time for your creative expression. Don't just sit in a space of, well, I'm going to act like I'm feeling this way when I'm really feeling that way. It's like if you turn your attention to that creative expression, um, it's almost like you don't have to sit in that energy you don't prefer. All right. So we've got the green light on the messenger. And uh, this this public um, thing that you're doing, this uh, it's 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 audience oriented. It's it's events oriented. OK, now during that, again, Mother Mary is saying, make sure you nurture yourself. It's really, really important. OK, I think I'm going to leave it there. I totally appreciate you being with me. Um, if you like this video, I would so much appreciate it if you would give it the like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really would invite you to subscribe, become part of my soul tribe. And if you want more readings like this and other interesting ascension related, um, twin flame related, uh, sacred partner related, creative expression related information, please do press that little bell. Um, so that you don't miss some of the readings that I've got coming up in the future. So anyways, thank you so much, my cancer friends and family, for being here. And um, I look forward to the next time I get to deliver some source information to you. Namaste.